Hey there. Hi, y'all. This is Live Prepper here, part two of the weight loss. So now, my hair is wet. I just got out of the shower showing you how to do some other benefits. Now, the thing is, the weight loss soap also can be used as a wake-up soap. you got to remember it has caffeine in it. It stimulates the body, it stimulates the blood flow, and it has caffeine in it that helps. So what I did is I just got some Styrofoam cups. I went ahead and just put it in the freezer so it would get ready. I wound up making three cups of it. Well, I say you can use anything you want to use. Now, it takes time for the soap to cure. So, it don't mean you got it, you're going to go and use it just as soon as you got it. You need to allow for some drying time, a little bit of curing time on it, so it will indeed benefit. Now, here's my soap. Like I say, this is just for me. It, it feels good, smells good. Nah, not perfect. But if you want to add like some um, rose essential oil in there or lavender or something there to make it smell good, you can. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to just do a little test run on this one bar here. Dab on my hands a little bit. And I'm going to show you here. So let's see. Okay. There we go. We're getting some soap now, ain't we? Yes, we are. I said, now this in here, I prefer it to cure a little bit before I really, but you know what? You can go ahead and take it and use it right in there. Now you can see here, it's all foaming up. I've got a few coffee grounds in my hand. It's going on. You got to remember this here has caffeine in it. I added a, some several spoons full, just a little bit at a time of the coffee. I've also added coffee grounds in it and in here as well. Now, I probably could have added a lot more but you can see right here the coffee grounds all through with this here. Look at that. You can see the coffee grounds all through it. Now right here on the outside the coffee grounds are not really there but as I use the soap as I use the soap the coffee grounds will become more dominant and things in that situation here, I'm going to tell you what, you're talking about cleaning. I want to dampen my hands. Look at that. Look at that soap. Look at that. Now, I remember I added sugar into it to give it more of a fizz. There is a few coffee grounds on my skin. Not much, but a few. I probably, like I say, I probably could have put more coffee grounds in there if I wanted to. But nonetheless, this here helps stimulate and if you really don't want to rub coffee grounds all over you, I want to tell you something else. Not only does coffee grounds work, I've been using coffee grounds after I rinse myself off to help clean my bathtub. I've been using it as a natural cleaner to clean the tub down with, to scrub with, and the walls as well because it is abrasive. There is no um, chemical in it. You're not hurting anyone. You're cleaning your bathtub with a natural cleaner from using coffee grounds as well. Now I have a, my skin got damaged over the years from a job I worked for many years. So I have scars from it my skin is really rough and everything and now i don't think you could really you, you might be able to see the skin condition right here you see this and you can see some brown spots here but the fact is this here is really my skin feels nice i mean it's really helped stimulate the blood flow in my hand if your hands are prone to numbness you know poor circulation the caffeine in this and the rubbing it helps stimulate the blood flow in my hand as well. So that's what I'm saying is you can use this here uh, for your face, whatever. You don't have to, you know, you don't have to do it, you know, use coffee grounds the way I did. It's up to you. I mean, I like doing it because I like using it as abrasive to clean my skin. I also like doing it to 
clean my bathtub afterwards. It, it gives me that. Makes I make sure that way the bathtub gets clean. You know, I just I'm always doing something, and I want to tell you I'm not the best housekeeper in the world. To be honest with you, uh, because I'm always doing something. But the fact is, is I'm cleaning the bathtub the same time when I'm in the shower. I'm getting rid of any kind of build up on the walls, in the tub. They're staying clean. If you come in from a job that's dirty, your husband comes in or your man or whatever, girlfriend, whatever the situation is, kids will come in. They're filthy all the time. You, you know, you're on a rat race yourself. Now, you can see here my skin. Now, earlier I did the, the coffee scrub and the egg white and honey treatment. Now, I don't know if you can see any difference, but I want to tell you what, this feels nice. The soap I just used with the sugar in it and the coffee in it, along with the cocoa stuff, the mocha stuff I put into it, the chocolate caffeine in it. Oh, wow, this just feels really good. And as an older person, and I gained a lot of weight, and I wasn't happy about it. As an older person, this here gets kind of flimsy. And you really don't want, if you don't want to, you don't want to look like you're 20 again, but you want to feel better about yourself, then you do. Now, I want to tell you something else. Look here, you see this eyelashes? See these eyelashes? I want to give you a little tip here. At one point, I had no eyelashes at all. They was followed out. They had fallen out, and I noticed the other day that I was actually having some nice eyelashes again. And I was really surprised. You can see here, right there. See, I didn't have those at one time. They had done fallen out. After you reach forty, your, your eyelashes start to get really thin. I have been drinking uh, that vinegar solution, as I told you. It helps stimulate things, and it also helps, I believe, that the vinegar solution helps stimulate the growth of my eyelashes again. So this is the live prepper here, part two of the weight loss. So now remember, it's no miracles. This will help, but it's up to you to decide whether you want to lose the weight or maintain, or just you want to use this to help wake you up before you go to work in the mornings, or nights or whatever it is, it's up to you. Life Prepper saying be safe, be happy. Bless you all.